What are your favorite old reliables? What's your favorite old piece of gear? I had a camera called FS700, and I love that camera. That's the camera that got stolen, right? Fast forward nine months later, I'm like, man, I missed that camera. You know, I could shoot some slow-mo videos with it because it was the only camera back then that shot 120 frames. Okay, all right, yeah. At 1080. Yeah. So that's like super slow-mo yeah. when you talk about cameras yeah. and stuff like that. Get on Craigslist, scroll through, put FS700 in. Look down. I used to be one yeah. take TV. So I look now, I hi- literally highlighted on the camera, which is OTTV. <gasps> it's literally right there on a the charger. Stop. So I call the guy, literally, I call the guy. I say, hey, I'm interested by your camera. Stop. Yeah, it's night. I-, I knew he wasn't aggressive by how he texts because he was like texting me things like K. <laughs> and I'm like, nobody <laughs> aggressive is going to text K, right? <laughs> so I'm just like, at the end of the day, he can't be that, like, he can't be that, like, dangerous he's texting me can't right but the thing is i am a big black man yeah. i'm six eight so if i were to like take this camera from this guy this in this parking lot then he can just call the police and be like oh yeah, this guy yeah. robbed me so i literally went to the police station told him like look i'm going to meet this guy they was like yo don't do it you know just let it go with the detectives i literally threw my hands off walked out the police station <laughs> took my cousin and we went and met this guy i was like look Hide in the backseat. If anything crazy happened, just record it and then just jump out. And then, you know what I mean? We'll go from there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he jumps out. He literally has the same case that they oh stole my camera gosh. nine months later. Pops it open. I'm like, bro, um, I hate to tell you this, but this is my camera. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, look, start going through my phone, showing him all this stuff that I took, like pieces that I can take out. It was broke here. Just like yeah. everything. I ended up giving this dude like a hundred bucks. He took the camera, like talked him to it, got my camera back. Nine months later, that doesn't happen in Los Angeles. Mind you, this is LA. It got stole like yeah. Westchester. Yeah. I found it in the Korean what? town. That doesn't happen. And I promise this is a true story. With that being said, I think that was my favorite, you know, piece like camera at FS700 yeah. because of just the, the trial <laughs> tribulation I went through and that the fact that. I think, what is it, 90, 98% of people in Los Angeles will get, like, equipment huh. and stuff stole. You yeah. don't get it back. Never. Never. You do not. You do not get it. No. You don't get it back. Mind you, I got it back in the same case. Like, everything. It wasn't split same up. lens. Same yeah. case. No, it was, it was like, it was, it just went on a vacation for nine months. <laughs> it's insane. Well, okay. Well, that has definitely earned the spot of, like, favorite old friend. So... <laughs> Solid there. Yeah. So now for your favorite new gadgets, something that revolutionizes how you work. You know, moving on to the bigger cameras, like the Red, the Black Magic, and Shino and Alexis. I wouldn't say it's a favorite, but I just, you know, it ups mm. your game. That and color grading. Me, myself, I don't color grade, but just to allow my work to get color graded, it definitely takes everything to the next level. I and, mean, you know, we're shooting with these, these high-end cameras and, you know, certain lenses, but it's just... The fact that stepping it up, shooting on red, shooting on black magic, shooting on Alexa Mini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you use these cameras, then this is what they use for the short commercial. This is what they mm-hmm. use for movies. So I think you're going to run into that. So this, that's pretty much like my favorite, you know. Let's get specific. Like wh- what particular camera do you love working with? To be honest, I honestly like the black magic. Yeah. I don't know why. Tim, he's my DP. He basically introduced uh-huh. that. You don't know what it is. So, you know what I mean? I, I work with Alexa. Which one do you work and with? I shot with Sony Bennett's, the, the, the Pocket, Pocket 6K. Okay, okay. And I'm not picky. And here's the thing. Here's a funny yeah. thing about me. I just like to get things done. <laughs> yep. um, like you said, I know what looks good. To, you know, in all due honesty, I'm a director. I'm a producer yeah. at heart. I call myself a DP, but let's just be realistic. Um, uh, I know what looks good. I'm not a mm-hmm. technical person, but... I know what looks good. Dude, I completely understand on that because I have like my, my oldest camera and it's still working. Like that's the one that I use. <laughs> like I don't, I don't have to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get that. You know, and just working with, like I said, Tim mm-hmm. and other DPs and other steady cam ops, you, you, I sit back and I observe and I say, okay, all right. You know, and I look at things and I say, well, how did they get mm-hmm. that shot? You know, even with the Rams, it was a Kendrick Lamar influence with mm-hmm. the Zoom. That's why I like to work with experienced mm-hmm. people because I always take from one shoot to another. Nice. 